Welcome, Hornets. The last thing that we're going to be looking at in this uh, section of our chapter is how do we find uh, inverses, so actual values of inverses. We're going to take an example, and uh, the example that I'm going to be sharing with you is um, y equals the square root of x minus 4. And our goal is to take this f of x, and we're going to find out if a equals 2, then what is the inverse of 2? Okay, that's our goal right here. We've got a function, f of x equals the square root of 4 minus x, and our goal is to try to find f inverse of 2. What is the inverse of our function evaluated at 2? Well, in order to do this, the first thing we have to recognize is that we're talking about the y value here for the original function. They're asking us to figure out what is f inverse of 2, and therefore we're looking at 2 comma blank. But this is sitting here saying for the other function, blank comma 2. So that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find that blank. But we can't do it with this function here. Now part of that reason is because just because a function has an inverse does not mean that we can easily find it. Okay, so instead of going through the process of trying to find the inverse of that square root, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to figure out what value gave us 2 from the original function and then rewrite our equation. So let's just take a look. If 2 is equal to our square root of x minus 4, then we should be able to square both sides and then add 4. Notice 8 is the value of x that gave us 2. And because of that, we know our answer for our inverse at 2 is 8. That's our goal. Let's take a look at one more, and then we're going to move on. Let's take a look at um, f of x equals 2x to the fifth plus x cubed plus 1. Now, this function isn't very nice. So what I want to do is I actually want to find the system, okay? And we're going to try to find the system for this function. And our a value is going to be negative 2. So we're going to put into our graphing calculators. Let me just go to the graphing calculator here. And we're going to put in both of these functions. So 2x to the power of 5. We have a plus x cubed. Just a reminder, x cubed is under math 3. Whoa, and I did that wrong. Let me try that again. To the power of 5, move the arrow down. There we go. Now we have our plus x math 3, and then we finish with plus 1. Then we're going to go ahead and put the negative a, uh, which are negative 2, which is our a, and I'm going to graph them. Notice there is only one point of intersection. To find that point of intersection, we are going to go second trace. Calculate the intersection 5. And then we're going to go to our two equations with enter, enter, enter. The value we get is negative 1, negative 2. That means that f of negative 1 gave me negative 2. Our inverse is therefore negative 2 equals negative 1. This is what we're locating. Notice our goal is to try to figure out what value of x will give us negative 2. Once I have that, I put it into my equation and then find the inverse point. 
okay? That's our goal, and we'll be doing a lot of that throughout this year, so just be aware. Don't try to find the inverse function. Try to find the value of x that gave you that inverse value, and then flip the points. Thank you very much.